morning, good afternoon, good evening, good night, wherever you may be. It's like in Warlord. A stash. Hello, everyone. Who I'm tired. <laughs> Hope you're doing well. Uh, just like the title says, unfortunately, there is still what I consider. Let me preface this all by saying what I consider me, just me, consider cheating still in Townstar Godot. Uh, the terms cheating and exploit will be brought up multiple times throughout this video. So before we begin, I'm going to define those and then we'll get into the discussion I had in the math discord. And then I will show you how to exploit, cheat, whatever you would like to call it, Townstar Godot. Now, I don't condone this. Uh, one of the uh, screenshots I'm going to bring up is that uh, it's fair if everyone knows that it exists and then they can choose to use it or not choose to use it. Um, it there were some comparisons with the door hack. The door hack was turning buildings facing each other so that way uh, the, the building could be accessed from any of the four sides. And that was something that I believe most people were using. Uh, this one involves deleting things from the game and thus fundamentally changing that item in the game because if let's say an item needs a pond for it to be built but then you can remove the pond that's not the same thing in my opinion as uh, the door hack so before we begin I'd like to say this a disclaimer this is not a, a call to action to harass anybody uh, don't attack anyone that you may see in this video um, if you'd like to have discussions with people, I mean, I think everyone should be open to discuss things civilly. Uh, no attacks, please. Uh, everyone, we, we, we got a little heated in the Discord, but uh, I, I don't think it was uh, ridiculous or was something that needs to be um, more than just words on a little screen. You know what I mean? Um, that all being said, uh, I'm welcome to hear anyone else's opinion on it. You know how I stand. I don't condone it. And I, I can hear you all now. You, you shared the cheating uh, on one point. Yes, I did. And that was to show everyone how bad the cheating was and that Gala continued to pay people out, uh, including up to Dopra uh, Wintry, who was the first place winner, uh, the last 1.0 tournament. Everyone was calling him a cheater and was showing the data. And Gala still paid him out. Uh, and he apparently withdrew that money, and then they go, oh, well, actually, we're going to ban him now. I was like, well, it's too late. You already gave the cheater a bunch of money. So um, here we go. Uh, what does the word cheat mean? Using our old friend Google here, typing in the words cheating and definition, we get from Oxford Language's definition of cheat, which is to act dishonorly, uh, dishonestly or unfairly in order to gain an advantage especially in a game or examination. So you could say, I don't believe it's dishonest if everyone knows in quotes, but I do believe it's unfair because not everybody can use it. It's not, a, it's, you have to actually use these cheats for them to work. It's not like everybody actually has it. Just like, it's like if everybody just had a speed buff for some reason, the game was broken, you know? Um, I don't think what, what this exploit cheat is as, as bad as 1.0 because 1.0 you manipulated the game code. But with that word manipulation also does tie into what this uh, cheat exploit is for Godot. Uh, you're manipulating the game's fundamental aspects. So uh, in my opinion, what I'm going to show you later is indeed cheating. Uh, it is acting, not dishonestly, I would say, but unfairly to gain an advantage, which it is, especially in a game or examination. Well, obviously, Townstar is a game. So, there's a definition for cheating. Now, the next definition is going to be for exploit. Because in the conversation that I'm going to show you in a minute, exploit comes up a bunch because that's what they were calling it. Now, call it whatever you want. Everybody has their own definitions uh, personally, or interpretations rather of definitions, but the definitions are the definitions, and that's it. Matter of fact, I wanted to go down to cheating real quick and scroll down. Uh, the ch definition of cheat from Merriam Webster is to deprive of something valuable by the use of deceit or fraud. I don't think that's, I don't think that's that that's as applicable as the main one, but I did want to show an alternative definition. 
All right, so uh, definition of exploit, again, exploit definition. Uh, Oxford languages. Exploit is to make full use of and derive benefit from a resource. So I believe 100% that exploit can easily be applied to what I'm going to show you later because it is deriving benefit from the game's uh, brokenness. But I, I, would, I would challenge you without just trying to be as objective as possible. Uh, I feel like the cheat definition is going to apply more to what I'm showing you than the exploit definition. I think they both apply. However, I don't think they're mutually exclusive. I think they can both be a cheat and an exploit at the same time. I don't think if it's a cheat, then it's not an exploit. I don't think if it's an exploit, it's not a cheat. So we got those two covered. Let me go down here. Uh, to treat someone unfairly in order to make money or get an advantage. Now this, I would say... Uh, treating unfairly, again, that ties back to cheating, right? And in order to make money or get an advantage. Well, both of those are in play with what I'm going to show you for Godot because, as you recall, the top whatever 25 whatever ranks are a crap ton of gala. So, yes, I do believe that the top players in the world that, yes, they have a bunch of FTs. Sure, absolutely, that matters. But then you take that humongous advantage they already have, and then you use this cheat slash exploit, and that even further makes it unfair and allows them to make money and get an advantage. So I think they can both of these definitions can apply, and I think both of these definitions do apply. So let's start where this all began. Now, I'm going to say that, and we're going to address this real quick, and then I'm going to jump back in time and then come back to where we're at right now. So I uh, went in the math discord and saw uh, this post and the post to the left, which I haven't gotten to yet, which was uh, from Dr. Byrne. Now, again, this is not a personal attack, Dr. Byrne. We had a, uh, a discussion. Uh, we agreed on some things. We disagreed on some other things. I think it went very well, and I don't think we were, you know, being angry or bitter towards each other. I think we just disagreed on some things. Um, I also appreciate Dr. Byrne being willing to be a part of this video. And as I'll show you later, there's another screenshot where he, Dr. Byrne gives his permission to be a part of this video. Um, what was requested of me is that I don't call the community cheaters. And we'll get to that when that happens. Um, I'm going to leave it up to you guys. You know how I feel, and I'm going to keep just giving you the information that I have. So, uh, rare water pump. Uh, powering for mine. So rare water pump for the win, FTW. So for the win is a celebratory term. And we can, we can Google that if you want, but that sounds like you're displaying something proudly for the win, for the win. That's, that's a positive thing, right? Um, and this is showing you what we're going to, I'm going to show you later in game is that uh, there's no pond here, but this uh, not only FT, but, uh, water pump doesn't have a pond attached to it yet it's still passively providing water drums to these mines and if anyone's ever done a mine before you know that the reason we don't put ponds slash water pumps near mines is because the water actually slows down the mine so if you can have less for the miner to have to go get that's an extremely large advantage way over in my opinion just having the doors turned a certain way uh they need two water drums for chromium or limestone and now they don't have to go get that at all they get one lumber and they're done and they're boom they're instantly making uh the chromium or the limestone i think that's a huge advantage compared to just a door hack um so at the top i in my opinion dr burn is celebrating or bragging about uh the, the this water pump working and then below that he says can't wait until they fix this though which is what, what, what we follow up later on is that it's actually complaining about it as well. So my point is there's bragging and there's complaining. So they're both, they're not mutually exclusive. They're both in the same message, okay? And then the following statement confirms what I originally interpreted all of this as, which is I feel like cheating, but the team approved exploiting every bug there is. So right there in Dr. Burns' own words, he says cheating. I feel like cheating. I'm assuming that's just, I feel like I'm cheating, but I don't want to put words in his mouth. We're going to go with what it says. I feel like cheating, but the team approved exploiting every bug is. Now, we're going to go into the team approving this, and I'll give you my thoughts on that as well and let you make your own decision. So that's the first one that I saw. The second one that I saw, I didn't get permission to share this person's name, so I've redacted it. Uh, I'm sure this is what the team wanted. And as you can see here, 
if anyone's confused, uh, this is this road is providing the paved road requirement for these mines, and then there is a water pump in a red circle, which means there's no pond attached to it, and that means these are being provided all of the passive water drums that they need. So again, all this mine would have to do is go get a lumber. They would already have their passive energy, and that's it. That is an extremely high advantage, way over a door hack, in my opinion. So that's the second thing I wanted to show you, and this was my initial reply. Uh, you know, guys, if you're going to brag about cheating, which, again, I explained in the first picture, I saw bragging and I saw the word cheating, uh, do it somewhere I can't see, please, or just kick me from here. You know I'm going to have to make a video on this now. So that's me acknowledging that I've seen the material and that it makes me uncomfortable and I don't like it, right? So let's go back in time because um, I have something to show you. Okay, right there and right here. Now, this is uh, shout out to Camrar. I believe he's the leader of MAF. I'm not too sure, but he's he, he and I got into a discussion as well after... He jumped on the Discord and saw what we were talking about. Um, to be fair, you did mention knowing of exploits a month ago. Could have just come in here or asked someone to ask in Gala Chat for you. Blah, blah, blah. We're not going to talk about all that. None of this is what the point of my post was. So you can read it if you want. I'm going to bypass it. But what I want to get to is uh, the screenshot of me saying um, a month prior that not to, there's apparently some very broken game mechanics that are being exploited currently. Yes. I was told privately by one source that they had found something and they were using it. That's it. They didn't give me permission to share it. And to my knowledge, it was just this person doing it. Now, juxtapose that with I find out a whole guild is doing it, or at least a, a, a version of it, if you will. That to me is different. It's the same. They're both cheating. If one's cheating, they're both, they're all cheating. They're all exploits. But I'm getting all this information from people. I know it's, it, people are going to say it's hypocritical, whatever you want to call it. If someone gives me inf secret information and they ask me not to share it, and then I go share it, then I'm not going to get that secret information anymore. And if that secret information can lead to me helping fix the game or move things forward, then that's what I'm going to try and do. So call me what you will. Yes, I did say that. Yes, I was told about one thing, which I'm not going to go into because I haven't been given permission to talk about it. What I'm going to talk about today is just what I discovered in the MAF Discord and what they did give me permission to talk about. So I wanted to address that because it, it, if you go to their Discord, which, by the way, you, I, I, I don't know if you're, I don't know how to invite people to that, if you can, if it's open or whatever, but they are very friendly and welcoming. I, um, I would definitely go in there if you want to engage and learn something. They're extremely knowledgeable in the game, um, but certainly don't go in there and, and start shit, especially on my behalf. I don't need anyone to stick up for me. I'm the bad guy. Let me be the bad guy. Please just take care of yourselves, okay? So my response to that was, yes, I do recall saying that, and it was in regards to one source and what they had found that a whole guild slash discord. Moreover, it was, one, it was not the ones mentioned shown earlier. It was something else. I appreciate the medical. Okay. So they offered me into their, uh, the, the discord to where I could see what their builds are, and I, I say that I'm not going to go look at it because I'm not going to use them, A, but B, I share my builds live because I'm, I'm streaming everything. I don't want to give away their trade secrets because I don't think that's fair. Next. My final reply underneath was, I do not condone cheating per the definition of cheating. It could be derived that since there's a benefit from what exploits are being abused, I would call it cheating. No one is being malicious and no one is manipulating game code, referencing 1.0. That doesn't mean it isn't unfair. Again, this is going back to what we first talked about. That said, if we level the playing field, the only way we can share information, then at the very least, the ball then resides on the individual player choosing to use or not use these cheat slash exploits. And more importantly, Gala for failing to provide a fair playing field and complete product to its non-investors. So ultimately, that's the point that we're going to go. We're just going to have a full dome, spherical set of information here. You know where we started. You know where we ended. Okay. So back in where I where I was at, I made my comment. Jetty, shout out to Jetty. By the way, Jetty was very nice, and we went back and forth just like I did with Dr. Byrne. Very cool. The bug is showcased on Gala's Discord a lot more than here. So I guess you're right, you can't see it there. Everyone is trying to draw attention for them to fix it, we just wait. Okay, so that's a fair point, right? If you've exhausted your resources trying to get the change made, then that's an attaboy, good for you. 
you know, slap on the ass, congratulations. But that still doesn't mean you have to use them, right? If, and this is where it comes down to individual personal preference, if winning or getting money or achieving a high place is more important to you than your own morality of, I'm going to play the game straight, fair, and down the middle, then that's your personal choice, and it's my personal choice to not do that, right? So that's where I think we fundamentally differ. I play this because I enjoy it, and I don't condone cheating because I don't want people to have an unfair advantage. And if that's how they want to go and do things, that's on them. I have no say in the matter. I've said my piece, and I think you, if you're watching, you know, that's their choice too. You know, this is not a, again, this is not an attack piece. What, what the main point of this is going to be to show you that this is happening. If you would like to have the advantage of this, that's your choice to use. But at the end of the day, what I want you all to realize is that this is Gala fucking up once again in a huge way. They allowed cheating for years, let's say a year. Well, I'll say a year with 1.0. And now we're already here and there's cheating slash exploiting going on in 2.0. Instead of actually delivering a set finished product, they rushed it out. And here we are back where we started with a worse game than we had before. 1.0 worked way better than 2.0 does. All right. Next slide, please. All right. So once again, shout out to Dr. Byrne. We're going to pick back up where we left off. Dr. Burns saying, I'm fine with you making a video about it. You can use my picture posted above, but I would prefer if you highlight that most of us do not like that we are allowed to exploit the bugs, that the team is aware of the bugs, that the team approves of us exploiting the bugs, that Gala devs suck at solving it in a timely manner. Just do not call the ones who are exploiting the current bugs cheaters. We are pretty open about these exploits to everyone. Now, to be fair to Dr. Byrne, I understand what you're saying, and I appreciate it. However... In my opinion, just because you don't want to be called a cheater doesn't mean that you aren't a cheater. If that bothers you to be called a cheater and you look at the definition of cheater and it fit, the shoe fits, right, then maybe you shouldn't be doing it, right? If it bothers you to be called that because that's what you're doing, in my opinion, maybe you shouldn't do it. Now, I don't want to be an asshole. I don't want to come off as an arrogant prick. I'm just stating objectively this is the definition this is what you're doing, and they match, okay? But again, they can be cheats and exploits. It's not mutually exclusive. They can be both, right? Okay, next slide, please. All right, so this is my reply to um, Dr. Byrne, I believe. Uh, this is my first time I'm seeing you all openly brag. Now, again, brag is a harsh word. That was how I interpreted it, again, from the original post I showed you. Uh, for the win implies bragging, okay, in my opinion. Uh, about using exploits, considering the money up for grabs, the amount of players that don't know, it just feels icky. Moreover, if it's making some FTs perform way better than before, your conscience is your conscience. Now, if you can get my proof that Gala is condoning using it, then I can turn the gun on them. Which, again, is the point of this video, is not to direct anything at math or anyone using the cheats, exploits. It's Gala is the problem, ultimately. This is their baby this is their project right and they're allowing this to go happen and we're going to get to i'm going to finish reading this and then and then we're going to get to the the good stuff but without that i'm left looking at people exploiting the system in a small group i have no idea how active gala's discord is what their player in and out is at the end of the day if you're allowed to do something doesn't mean you should that goes for me too i'm not just pointing the finger at you guys but the closest i've come to exploiting the game is the door hack which if i'm being completely honest doesn't seem even close to what you guys are doing Having roads around key infrastructure in your build is a foundational aspect of Townstar. Planning out your build that always involves roads. Mines affected by water, so you can't put a pump by it. I don't know, Burn. I appreciate your response, and moreover, I appreciate you being candid, but I just don't agree with the everyone's doing it mentality. Again, show me gala negligence, show me gala ineptitude, then I can focus the video on this and not on individual players. This is pretty cut and dry. And again, I go ahead and I show the cheat definition. So let me reiterate, this is not an attack on, on Burn, Jetty, Camrar, anybody in math. This is just, they were a resource and they allowed me to use that resource for this video. Uh, Jetty followed up with saying, in my opinion, the door hack was much more powerful than this, although I don't really believe in passive water mines. And that's, again, fundamentally, I just disagree. I, I think being able to remove roads is way more significant. When you have a set finite amount of space, 
Uh, just think, for instance, if you have a dragon, like like I'm, I'm using a dragon right now, right? I don't have to worry about gasoline at all. That's two refineries, two power plants, a uh, fuel tank, uh, crude oil, or an oil seat. That's at least six spots right there that I don't have to have. Uh, the uh, forklift, that's seven. I mean, those are all vital space that you now don't have to worry about with just the dragon, right? So you factor that in with roads it's the same thing if you can get four or five extra spaces that's a big deal at the upper echelons of playing this game next slide please jetty replies it depends on the build of course i'm not saying downplay the importance of fixing this because that is ultimately the biggest issue that, that ult, at, with everything else said and done this needs to be fixed and it should not have to be fixed because it should not be happening this game should have been tested thoroughly before it went live and it didn't so we're past that that's the past now they're looking forward they need to fix the fucking game, right? Uh, for me, for the record, if you show me uh, Gala Condoning, then I can run with that. Um, and then more about uh, Door Hack was important on Energy Meta. My uh, Energy Meta was two weeks. That's that. I, I just don't. I just don't think they're the same level. I just don't. The severity of the impact, in my opinion, uh, what I'm going to show you is more important or more impactful, rather. Next slide. All right, so this is from Camrar. This is his first big reply. Uh, if you want to pause the video and read this, uh, I will, I'm going to put all his responses up. Um, I'm not going to read through all this. Uh, this was part of the discussion back and forth. You can agree with it. You can disagree with it. That's up to you, the individual person. I'm not going to try and uh, skew you in any direction. Uh, what I can say is uh, this is a lot of words, and they were all impactful. Um, as was our discussion. I think we went back and forth and we agreed to disagree basically at the end of the day, which, you know, that happens. That's what two adults should be able to do is have a discussion and maybe not necessarily agree at the end. So this is one. Let's pull up two. This is my reply to him. Again, going over everything I've already said. Uh, if you want to pause and read, you're more than welcome to. Make it as big as possible. You know, I think we're both being a little snippy and snarky at each other, but, you know, I believe he's in charge. He's the head of math, and I'm the head of Lycan Warlord Gaming. You know, uh, two powers of the thing. You know, I just I think that's all it was. Um, I have we had a we had a, a, the conversation that we're referencing in this is I jumped on a video chat the morning before the competition started, and we had a civil conversation. Everybody had a good time. It went really well. So you know, again, the messages on Discord versus over the voice is just different. Uh, next slide. So this is uh, the slide I showed you earlier. So you can pause if you want right here. Otherwise, I'll show the last one here. This is yeah. This is the other reply I showed you, which was me saying that yes, I did say that a month ago, and that was in referencing something else. It was just one individual person, not a whole guild. Uh, Townstar seems to have given me the spinning tea of death. Oh, what's that? What was that? Oh, crypto dude got some little whistles in there. That's pretty cool. Better than the horn, huh? <laughs> that was pretty cool. All right, look at you, crypto dude. All right, I want to shout out Triple L. I did. I'm, I'm glad that I was able to to teach you something. I don't. I don't agree that I'm the laughing stock of Townstar, but then maybe I. And then maybe you're right. I have no self awareness. I don't believe I bring toxicity everywhere. I believe that I bring honesty everywhere. At least it feels like I'm being honest to myself and to you guys. If people feel that I'm being toxic, then okay. Um, they're entitled to their opinion. I, I did want to say that. I, Regardless of what happens in the Discord Triple L, I, I'm, I'm sorry if I if I've made you disappointed. Whether I'm being positive or negative about something, I'm just trying to help people by either giving them information they didn't have, or at the very least, trying to drum up a discussion on something you know that I feel like could lead down a positive road. So, just wanted to say, shout out Triple L. So I wanted to bring this up finally from Tokolosh. Do a vid on the exploit and inform everyone of it to level the playing field. Now, I, I still don't agree that it's the best. It, it's not the best solution. Obviously, the best solution is that Gala fixes the game. I don't think that everyone using the exploit to make the level, playing field level is a good option. I think people should just not do it, but that's not realistic. People are going to cheat and exploit the system if they can, especially when money's involved. I understand that. I'm not naive. Uh, I'd like to believe people just want to play and enjoy the game, but that's that's unrealistic. This is what we're going to do. We're going to share this information, and you, the viewer, will do with it what you will. 
Uh, just want to shout out Tokolosh for that. And now we're going to get to this. This was posted on 612 showing the exploits. Passive energy, passive water drum, passive water bug. So we're going to go over those later. I'm going to put this back off to the side. I'm going to show you in game what's going to happen. Now, this is the big deal. I'm going to come back full screen here. At the end of the day, once again, after everything I've shown you, this is not about math. This is not about me. This is not about BTB or Lycan World Gaming or NLO or Gem. It's not about any of that. It's about Gala. And it's about Gala's continued, as I mentioned in my last video, they are either incompetent or they're indifferent. And sometimes it feels like they're incompetent. Sometimes it feels like they're indifferent. Sometimes it feels like both. But the fact of the matter is they couldn't fix 1.0, so they created 2.0. They've had over a year to work on this product, and this behind me is what you've got. And it's worse than 1.0 was when I first started playing 1.0, mind you. Not 1.0 after like three years of development. No, no, no. Godot is worse than 1.0 was, hands down. The Godot engine itself is for sure better than what we were using. Play Canvas, I believe, is what it was. It is snappier, but as far as you take away what Godot offers, Townstar dev team side of it is atrocious and it's, it's, it's bad. So the whole purpose of this video is to not only show you what's going on, most importantly, show you that Gala is complicit in this. You saw referenced many times in the screenshots I showed you with math that it's approved by Gala to do. Now, just because something's approved doesn't mean you should do it, especially when you know morally it's wrong, in my opinion. Now, you may not think it's morally wrong and therefore you don't see a problem with it, and that's fine. That's your uh, that's your prerogative that you're allowed to be that way. You know what I mean? I'm not here to judge. I'm merely here to present this information to you. Here we go. We're going to start with this one, which is showing that this is from May 11th, okay? So the next screenshot I'm about to show you is from May 11th. Today is June 20th, so that is a month and nine days, if you will. If you recall, May Mayhem started the beginning of May. So this would have been the second week of May Mayhem. And as you may recall what the uh, rewards are, there are a lot. Do I need to remind you right now? Sure, I'll remind you right now. All right, this is, this is it, right? 40,000, 30,000, 25,000, 21,000, 18,000, 16,000, 14,000, 13,000. It's a lot of gallop that they're giving away to people that are using these exports. Again, not a judgment on who's doing it and who's not doing it. The point of the matter is this is a lot to be giving away, especially when you're trying to bring in new people and all you're giving them is $2. So again, May 11th is when it was posted, and this is what was posted. So this is it. This is from May 11th, and you can see it right there. From Farmer Michelle, if that's the way the game mechanics work currently, then go for it. So I'll read that again. From May 11th, if that's the way the game mechanics work currently, then go for it. So, you can see right here what Parma Michelle is replying to uh, from Whitestorm Jim. With the current bugs not solved during competition, some of them can be exploited to have better rates like building with no roads. It still works in some cases. Is something done about that or are we okay to exploit this? Here's the thing. This is the evidence that I've been given that this is not only known by the team, but that it is approved for exploitation. Now, if... One sentence a month ago is enough green flag for you, then go for it. I don't think that's enough. I don't. I think this is a hastily put reply. And if that's the only evidence that they have, I think that's very weak. If there's other evidence of like the whole team going, yeah, we know the game's broken, but go ahead and use it. I think that would be better. But this is all I got to go off of. And I don't think this is this is pretty thin ice, in my opinion, to use this as a justification for uh, cheating in the game. You've seen it now. It exists. This is this is it. This is right here. It, that's the way the game mechanics work currently, then go for it. Again, this is pathetic of a response by Farmer Michelle. Again, no, this is a personal attack. This, I, this is don't go attack PM, okay? The point is that's, that's how they respond to ridiculous game-breaking exploits. Yeah, if that's how it is, go with it, right? Just blah, blah, blah. You're giving out 45,000 gala or 40,000 gala to first place. Yeah, whatever. Just, you know, it's, what, over 12 weeks? Yeah, psh, whatever. That's, that's nothing. That's chump change. Like, that's ridiculous. They're giving out so much gala to people that are exploiting the game. And it sucks. It just sucks. It just sucks. I don't care about the money. I could give two shits about the money. I care about the fundamental of the game, what it's supposed to be about. It's fun and competitive fair it's not so 
without further ado, let's get into the cheating. So as you can see here, we're going to go over passive water, mines, and passive energy. Now, what I'm going to do is I can just use the, uh, the, the FT I've got. Okay. All right. So let's do that. Let's start with, uh, let's start with passive water bug. Okay. So as you can see here, we've got an epic water tower. Now, the epic water tower is providing five water right around here, four water, and four water. So I'm getting one water from this river right here. So this is where I'm getting one water from the river and three from the water tower. Now, if I remove this, let's check our water, shall we? As you can see, there's a red ring around it, which means it doesn't have what it's supposed to but yet here I am still getting five water all around it five water four water four water four water three water three water uh, five water so without a road this should not be functioning this should not be providing passive water that's what the red ring symbolizes is that there's something wrong so there you go that's passive water bug so um, if we were to try it with a pond um, I don't know if that works or not, and I'm, I don't have a way to, to check that right now. Uh, I, let's 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 find out, okay? If we have two passive water right here, because of this pond, we remove this pond. Now I no longer have passive water, but notice that my power plants are not red. So let's try that again. Let's delete this pond. Now, I'm providing one passive water barrel still to these lumber mills. So I don't need a pond now to make this work. And again, if you recall, one of the most important things is that what? A water pump needs a pond. So let's go ahead and place a water pump down. See how it's not letting me place it? It's not letting me place it down because there's no pond. So what does that mean? That means you have to build the pond first and then you can place it down. All right, uh, we're recording. Um, Streamlab crashed again, so I don't know what's going on with that. I might have to uninstall it, reinstall it before I stream later. Let's get to it. I'm putting a pond back here to show uh, how you would put this down. Again, I have that uh, water tower not there. I'm waiting for them to grab one water. Uh, as you recall, this is pa providing passive iron because it's a snoop ride. If I remove this road, guess what happens? Uh, I've still got passive iron. So it does work for the snoop ride. Um, if I remove this road, however, for the lumber mill or lumber yard, excuse me, uh, it does not work. They will go put the lumber inside the lumber yard. So the good news is. It doesn't work on every FT, but it does appear that it works on some pretty important ones. I'm going to go ahead and put this road back here for a second. Notice I put this pond back, but yet the water pump is still showing red. I find that interesting. Uh, we're going to go ahead and put this back also. And see, it won't let me place it down because there's no road, right? So I do have to put a road back, right? Put a road back down, and then I can place this down. And there you go. I can remove the road, and guess what? Passive water is still there. Go figure. That's broken. Again, this is still providing passive iron, which it shouldn't be because it has no road. And these are now not... Uh, showing the red once again they're providing passive water drums if i remove the pond they should stop working but yet they are not because they're in red but yet here we are with passive water drums so uh, this power plant is still providing passive energy as you can see i got three energy here two energy here coming from this red power plant one that should not be producing this water pump is producing uh, these things shouldn't be happening, but they are. So, uh, that all being said, uh, I'm going to end it off for now, try and get this thing edited, uploaded. Um, 
Final thoughts. I don't condone using this. It's cheating in my opinion. Uh, it's unfair, particularly the supreme advantage that the FTs clearly give over just people that don't have any FTs. Either way, it's a large advantage over anyone that's not using them significantly to the point where they might not even place top 1200 if most people are using this, right? Uh, I don't condone it. Please don't use it. Um, but I can't, I can't stop you. You do, you do what you want. You are, I'm assuming you're all adults, uh, and you get to, to make your own decisions. Um, again, no personal attacks on anybody. Uh, if there's anyone to blame for this, it is Gala Games. It's Gala Games for putting out uh, this product that's not ready and should not have been released in this state. So down below, I've got a link to my Discord. We've got the uh, version 19 of the autorefresh script as well as the visualizer in the Townstar and visualizer slash autorefresh script threads. Um, if you want to join Discord, get a bunch of good people in there, helpful people. Uh, i got some links down below if you'd like to help support me. Either way, it doesn't matter. I appreciate you all being here. I'm going to try and get this thing knocked out before the competition goes live. Hopefully, I'll see you on stream. If you need me, you know where to find me. I'm like a warlord. The stash. Take care, everybody. I love you. Bye-bye. Ooh, you made it to the end of the video. Thank you so much for watching this video. I want to shout out my Patreons. Patreons from Patreon. And my new YouTube members as well. I got that going. Appreciate all of you. Thank you so very much. Your help has been crucial to keeping me alive and keep streaming and keep helping and hopefully entertaining you along the way. If anything I can do to make it more worth your while, please let me know down below. Also, you can find me on my Discord. I have my Discord server link down below, Patreon links down below, and then membership should be somewhere around here. Thank you all so very, very much. I really appreciate you. And I look forward to the future, and I hope you will come along for this journey with me. Thank you. Take care.